Hi everyone. 你们好。Can everybody hear me? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Oh, hello. Ah,、uh, 你好，你好，你们好。你、yeah. 好。Okay. Now I'll we'll start right now. 你们好哈，欢迎大家来到我的汉语课。很高兴在这里遇见你。遇见是一种奇妙的缘分，它是一切的开始。希望今天我们可以一起享受汉语，感受汉语的魅力。Yes, what I spoke just now is the Chinese language. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. If yes, please、yeah. give me some feedback by saying hello or 你好 to me. Okay. 你好。你好。啊 ，Yeah. Okay. 谢谢，谢谢 ，Thank you. 啊，你好。And also, if it is convenient, I'd like to invite you to turn turn on the camera. Then we can say hello. Hello. 你好。I think it's better for you to interact you. with me during the class. 啊，谢谢，谢谢。OK， 啊，你好，谢谢，嗯 ，OK， I'm so glad to meet you all here. I am one of the Chinese teachers from Dalian New Soft University of Information. Well, my name is Zhang Xin. You can call me Zhang 老师 For today's lesson, I'm going to show you the HSK course level one. 第一课 the first lesson. 你好 ，Have you ever seen the Chinese people greet each other? Some of you may be. Yeah, in China, we usually do not、uh, hug or、uh, kiss the cheeks. We usually shake hands, wave hands, or just nod as greeting. So when you first meet someone and want to say hello. You can start by 你好 Literally, 你 means you. 好 means good. 你好 together means hello. So when others, when some others say 你好 to you, you can respond by 你好啊，你好 Okay. Please read after me. 跟我读，跟我读。你好，你好，你好。哦，非常好，非常好啊！你好，你好。Okay. 你好。Now let's do it without pinyin here. Okay. How to read? 你好，你好。对，你好。啊、uh, ，and the response will be. 你好，对，你好,你好啊，你好，非常非常棒 ，perfect. Okay, now when you when you check in when you check in the hotel, what would you say to the people at the reception? 你好 Does anyone want to have a try? 对，你好 And what should she respond? 你好，你好，你好，哦，非常好 And when you answer the phone. When you answer the phone, you can you can say you can always say 你好 to start a conversation, right? Ah,、uh, 你好你好 Okay. Well, sometimes when you meet the first time an elder people or someone you want to show your respect, it is better to greet by 您好您好 Here, 您 Is a polite way to say you. Okay, 跟我读，跟我读 Read after me. 您，您，您，好，非常好。您，嗯，您。Okay, now let's try it without pinyin. Together. 您，您好。啊，您好。非常好，非常好。Very, very good pronunciation. 您好啊，您好。So when you meet your boss or your teacher, what would you say? 
。您好，您好。It is right. It is better to say 您好 instead of 你好 Okay. And sometimes when you meet more than one people, for example, here three people, you can change 你 to the plural form. 你们，你们。好，跟我读，跟我读 ，read after me， 你们，你们，你们，你们，你们，非常好，对，你们啊，你们，你们，对 ，so how should we greet greet the three people？ 你们 ，we say， 好，你们，你们，好，对啊，你们好，你们好，对，你们好，嗯，你们好。非常非常好，嗯，你们好，嗯，你们好。For example， 我张老师，张老师 ，great you。I say， 你们好啊，你们好。<coughs> OK， that's try, 你们好。That's try without 拼音啊，你们好，对，你们好啊，你们好。Thank you， Mino， 你们好啊。OK， now we can use this structure， this structure to great people。And the pronouns we have learned today are you singular form 你 you singular in a platform 您 you the plural form 你们 right. So we can we can put a pronoun before 好 to greet people. When we greet one person, we say. 你好，啊、uh, ，When we greet one people with respect, we say 您好您好 ，Right. When we greet more than one people, for example, some, we say 你们你们好啊，对，你们好，对，非常棒啊，非常棒 ，Very awesome. 你们好 ，Okay. Now look at this picture. So. In this conversation, what the young people,、uh, the young man and the young woman say? What should they say? 您好，您好。嗯，非常棒。您好。And what should the old man respond? 你们好。你们好。非常非常好啊 ，very good。你们好啊，你们好。Okay, now let's do it again without pinyin here. Together, together, you can say together. 你好，你好，你好，你好，你们好，你好。And response. <coughs> oh, 你们好，你们好，很好啊，你们好啊，你们好。Okay, now, when a Chinese friend, when a Chinese friend says 你好，嗯、uh, ，what should the response? 好。你好，对，你好啊，你好。And when the teacher say 你好 ，What should you respond? 您好，您好，非常好。老师您好，啊，您好，您好，啊，你好，你好，你好。Okay, now this one. When we greet some people, more than one people, what we what should we say? 您好，您好。你们好对，非常好，你们好 ，right 啊，你们好，你们好 ，OK， now let's， 呃 ，let's next 啊、uh, ，I'm going to show you another daily expression here， you have already seen that， 对不起， yeah. 啊，跟我读，跟我读，跟我读 ，read after me， 对不起。对不起,对不起 ，right? It's a yeah. Oh, is a it's a way to apologize. Ah,、uh, yeah. 对不起啊，对不起。If someone says 对不起 to you, how should you respond? 嗯，没关系。非常好啊，对 ，you have already known. Yes, the response. 没关系，没关系啊，没关系。啊，没关系。对，没关系。对不起啊，没关系。对不起。好，那我们看啊，我们看 
Oh, <coughs> what should the girl say? Doi buchi. Doi buchi. Doi buchi. Very good. Doi buchi. Doi buchi. Now, what should her father say? Doi buchi. Doi buchi. Ah, uh, no That's okay. Doi, no Okay, now let's do it again without ping in here. Together, together, you can say. Doi buchi. Doi buchi. Okay, now let's do some practice here. Okay, now look at this picture. Oh. Choose the right answer. Choose the right answer. Okay. Now, what should the woman say? Ah, which one? Ah, okay. Now, the second one, what should the man say? Ah, now, what should the woman say? Now, what should the teacher say? And the students? Woman, let's say it again without pinging here. Okay, I will ask someone to read. Okay, how about A? Niman Hall. Oh, Niman Hall, right? Niman Hall, do you put it? Oh, oh, you put it on hot. You showed a fish How about C? Nihao,是心理了,是当时,当时。Oh, <笑> Okay, this, we have already said that. Okay, now. Okay, now let's play a game here. Choose the right characters according to the pin here. Oh. Okay, now the first one, which one? The right one. Yeah, right. right. The, oh. oh. Yes. The right, the right, the the right, right, right. Oh, very good. The next one. The left one. The first one. The first one. The second? The first one. The first one. The first one. The first one. Yes. The oh, first one. The 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 first one. Right. What, what does that the mean? What does this mean? Right. Oh, it has no meaning here. Ah, it's yes, wrong. it's okay. Ah, yes. Oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, now let's change. Okay, now, 对不起. Right. And next. The second one. Oh, the second one. Very mm. good. Okay, now this one. Second one. The second one. The second one. What is the first one? I don't know. Oh, Ah, Okay. Next. How about this one? First one. First, one. first, first one. Right. Yeah. Okay, yes. 
First one. First one. Second oh, one. First one. What's the meaning of the first one? Door, door. What's ah uh, the first one? The first door. one. What's the meaning? Door, door. Door. It's door. But the second yes. one means the se second door. one is means door. the door. <laughs> the the second one means the door. The first uh, second one. Was... The first door. one. Plural. The first one is the, the, the plural form. Niman, remember? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, plural form. Okay. So this one, man. Okay. How about this one? It's the second right, one. Right. 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 Okay. Next. May. Last one. Ah, May. Ah, May. 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 No, a very short review of what we have learned today. Okay, no, for for today we have learned, we have learned, we have learned some ways to greet people, right? So when you greet one people, you say, Ni hao. Ni hao. When we greet an elder people or someone you want to show your respect. Ni hao. Ni hao. And when we greet more than one people, we say Ni men hao. Ni men hao. And for this one, when we want to apologize, we say ah, the, res the response will be ah, oh, okay. okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Now, so much for, for this part, for this trial class. Okay, thank you for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you, you're yeah. interested in the Chinese class, and I hope to see you in my class in Dalian New South University of Information. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I'm registered. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um. Alright. for giving the oh. class today. Oh, thank you. So before we end the session, we would thank like you to for your class. Give you... Thank you. Before nice. we end the class today, we would like to give you. A little bit more information about the online Chinese language program at Dalian News of University of Information. So you can continue your classes next time with Chang Laoshe and also with other Laoshe at Dalian News of University of Information. So yeah, basically Dalian News of University of Information have an online Chinese language program. It's a group course, but they also do have the one-on-one -on -one course. And it's suitable for students who wants to study from HSK level okay. zero up to HSK level six. So the key advantages, as you see, studying with Dalian News of University of Information, you will need to only study for a short period of time because it is a very intensive online Chinese language course. And then the teachers are basically certified and they are native Chinese teachers with 18 years of teaching experiences. It's gonna be a small size class it's not going to be as big as this free trial class, but normally the size of the class would be only about three to five students for each class. Therefore, it's going to be a lot better experience because the students can focus with each of you individually and help you individually to learn together as a group as well. And then other than that, free trial class is also available and you will be assigned as Chinese study partner, with, which is a Chinese friend. So you will be able to practice your Chinese together with him or her 
you know, like you will be able to communicate and use your Chinese as well, even if you are not in China. So this is going to be an excellent experience for you to develop your Chinese language skills. And other than that, they will also provide a virtual tour to Dalian. So although you're not able to visit China in person right now with all the pandemic going on, but at least a virtual tour it is, is also very exciting and you can get to see Dalian where Dalian, Uni Dalian News of University of Information is uh, located. And yeah, this is uh, the schedule and also the curriculum for the group class with uh, Dalian News of University of Information. So yeah, they do understand that students are basically all over the world. So they, uh, they propose a possible schedule in Beijing time. So you can choose either 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., or 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. in Beijing time. Or if your available time is not within these three times, well, not within these three schedules that they provide, then uh, you are welcome to have a consultation to talk about the schedule with the teacher. And also for the group class, it's actually available from HSK level zero up to HSK level four. So it's HSK zero to one, one to two, two to three, and then three to four. And then the duration of the class is gonna be four weeks for HSK level zero up to HSK level two. And if you're doing HSK level two to three and three to four, that's gonna be eight weeks or 10 weeks. And then during those weeks, you will learn comprehensive Chinese, uh, which means you will learn about reading, speaking, writing, listening, and, and there will be a practice yeah. session time as well. And yeah, the classes itself is gonna be very intensive. So it's gonna be four classes per day. Each classes is 45 minutes. So approximately you will study Chinese every day from Monday to Friday for about three to four hours daily, which is why I think this is one of the fastest program where you can learn uh, when you can really learn and also you can really improve your Chinese language very fast, very quick, but also in an affordable way as well because their tuition fee is actually not that expensive. 800 RMB is equal to about 130 US dollar. And yeah, it is actually definitely not that expensive considering the classes is going to be very intensive because you will learn together with them for three to four hours a day on a daily basis from Monday to Friday. And then, but if you are doing the HSK level five or HSK level four, then uh, Dali News of University of Information also have the one-on-one -on -one Chinese language course for those of you who want a more intensive or personalized uh, learning as well. So you can consider their one-on-one -on -one Chinese language course. And for this program, it is actually more specialized for those of you who wants to pursue HSK level four or HSK level five. However, uh, yeah, it's gonna be more flexible because this is a one-on-one -on -one program. So in terms of schedule, in terms of the learning material, it will be adjusted to your needs as well. And yeah, so you can achieve your goal in learning Chinese. But previously for the group class, for this one, if you're confused which level you're in, probably you have never taken HSK examination before, don't worry about it because uh, Dalian News of University of Information will provide an online pre-test for you. So that will be like some sort of quick quiz that you need to fill in before the class starts. So the teachers will be able to place you accordingly in the right class according to your current Chinese level. Right, so... To register, it's actually very simple. I have attached the link uh, to the program page. You can check it over there and I will email you shortly about the, how to register for this online Chinese course. And basically the next class will start in April. It will start in April and it's a very simple uh, registration uh, process. You just need to complete the application form. And then you just need to upload your passport and also your recent photo. And then the last step would be to pay for the program fee according to your level. And after that, once you have paid a program fee, then I will introduce you to uh, the teacher from Delhi News of University of Information. So then you can take your uh, pre-test. And after taking the pre-test, the teacher will be able to determine your current Chinese level and place you accordingly to the right class. Then you then they will arrange the schedule for your next classes for the next four, eight, or 10 weeks, 
Right. And then a little bit about us, Chan Admissions, the one helping uh, Dali News of University of Information hosting this event today. So you can apply to the online Chinese course via Chan Admissions because we are an award winning platform for international students to apply to Chinese universities. And we partner with over 200 of top Chinese universities and we have over 150 thousand registered students on our platform and international students can use our platform to apply to any Chinese universities. And yeah, we have won recent, uh, we have won several awards in the recent years and our team is also multicultural and a lot of us, actually majority of us were also former students. We were studying at Chinese universities before. So we understand how it, how is it like to learn Chinese to if, or like to even experience how is it like to be a foreign student in China. And yeah, basically at China Admissions, we provide free service to help you apply not only to Dali News of University of Information, but also to other uh, universities in China and other programs. And then it's a one platform for all, so you can apply to other programs as well. And we are very responsive. You can reach us by email, WhatsApp, or schedule a call. So this is our YouTube channel in case you want to uh, subscribe to our channel to get more updates and this is our contact information and also the WeChat group we have with Dalian News of uh, University of Information so if you'd like to know more about this online Chinese courses or perhaps you'd like to know more about the one-on-one -on -one online Chinese courses or how the schedule works or whatever your question is about their online Chinese courses feel free to uh, scan the WeChat QR code if you have WeChat so we can just uh, get in touch on WeChat and we can stay connected on WeChat as well. You can get in touch with the teacher from Dalian News of University of Information to get more information and also more update about their online Chinese programs. And yeah, this is our contact information as well. If you need, you can email us or drop us a message on WhatsApp. And yeah, I think those are it for today's session. Okay, so if you have any questions about this program, you can let me know right now. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I will, I think I will just close the session. Hello, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, sure. Yes, I have a question. Okay. Uh, I want to know that if we, uh, if we, you know, uh, uh, complete the form on online for admission, mm -hmm. Then we can, uh, uh, what, what are the ways to send you the payment? Uh, okay. Because I have, I have some arrangement in China. If we want to deposit some amount in your account directly in RMB, it's okay for you? Hold on. Yes, it, that's actually okay. So if you want to pay, you can actually either pay through uh, Dalian News of University of Information bank account directly or if you'd like to use WeChat Pay, Alipay, or credit card, uh, PayPal, others, and other payment methods, yes, we at Transmissions, we but, have, we offer I want that to know payment that if I don't as want, well. If I don't want to use uh, uh, any Alipay or WeChat yeah, if, Pay, anything like if that, you want to I just want to the, deposit directly. Yes, if you want to deposit directly, please see at your screen, there's the... Dali News of University of Information bank account. So after you have completed the online application form and then upload the application documents, then you can sir, directly send your application, uh, sorry, then you can directly send the tuition fee to the university bank account in China. Yeah, okay. So I upload the form and uh, for, uh, fill the form first and uh, you know submit that. And then my friend in China will deposit amount the fee amount in a uh, university's bank account, right? Yes, yes, that's right. And then don't forget to uh, take mm -hmm. a picture or take a screenshot of the payment receipt and then email it back to us so we can sure. double check as well. Sure, right. Oh. All right, so... Okay, I guess all those right. are all for today. Um, I just wanted to confirm the start date. Hi, Jeff. Yes, uh, teacher Gao Chang will confirm the start date for your next class. So she will further update you in the WeChat group. Yeah, because it says the 12th of August. So. 12th of 
August? I I think, I think it's going to be in April, year. not August. Well, uh, yeah, I meant April, sorry. Yeah, um, that's going to be in April. Yeah, so I was just asking because it's different than what's listed here. Yeah, Jeff, I think based on the conference, the last conversation on the WeChat group, your class will is scheduled to start in April 12th. Okay. Yeah, and then Just for confirm. further information, I believe it's better if you contact teacher Gao Chang directly. You can actually reach her by uh, WeChat on the WeChat group. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Right. So yeah, those are all guys for today's uh, free Chinese class with Dali News of University of Information. I hope you enjoy it, and then make sure to register now. So you can continue taking classes with Chang Lao Xiu or with other Lao Xiu's at uh, Dalian News of University of Information so we can together improve our Chinese language skills. And yeah, the next class will start in April. So you can just directly register and then complete the online registration form. And after that, you can just pay the tuition fee and you're good to go. The pre test will be arranged to you and together with the schedule of your next classes as well. Yeah, I hope this uh, session is useful for you. If you have any questions again, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach us by email or other, uh, other communication channel. And if you have WeChat, feel free to scan the WeChat QR code group so you can join the group together with Dali News of University of Information, if you have any questions and if you'd like to register, you can get more information as well. Thank you. Uh, have a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye thank you.